Ezra 10. Now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives, and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee, we also will be with thee. Be of good courage, and do it. Then arose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel to swear that they should do according to this word, and they swear. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of God, and went into the chamber of Johanan, the son of Eliashab. And when he came thither, he did eat br no bread, nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem unto all the children of the captivity, that, that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem, and that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the elders, all his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from the congregation of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month, and on the twentieth day of the month, and all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without. Neither is this a work of one day or two. For we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregation stand, and let all them which have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan, the son of Asahel, and Jehaziah, the son of Tikva, were employed about this matter, and Meshalem, and Shabbatai, the Levite, helped them. And the children of the captivity did so. And Ezra, the priest, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests there were found that had taken strange wives, namely of the sons of Joshua, the son of Jo, Zadak, and his brethren, Messiah, and Eliezer, and Jerib, and Gedaliah. And they gave their hands that they would put away their wives, and being guilty, they offered a ram of their flock for their trespass, and of the sons of Emma, Hanani, and Zebadiah, and of the sons of Harim, Maseah, and Elijah, and Shemaiah, and Jehiel, and Uzziah, and of the sons of Pashur, Elionai, Maseah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Jezebad, and Alasa. Also the Levites, Jezebad, and Shimei, and Keliah, the same is Kelita, Pethahiah, Judah, and Eliezer, of the singers also, Eliashib, and of the porters, Shalom, and 
Telem, and Uri. Moreover, of Israel, of the sons of Parosh, Ramiah, and Jeziah, and Malkiah, and Miriam, and Eleazar, and Malchizda, and Beniah, and of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Elia, and of the sons of Zatu, Elionai, Eliashib, Mataniah, and Jeremoth, and Zabad, and Aziza, of the sons also of Bebai, Johanan, Hananiah, Zabai, and Athlai, and of the sons of Bani, Meshalam, Malach, and Adamiah, Jeshab, and Sheol, and Ramoth, and of the sons of Pahath, Moab, Adna, and Chalal, Beniah, and Messiah, Mataniah, Bezalel, and Binui, and Manasseh, and of the sons of Harim, Eliezer, Ethijah, Malkiah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Malach, and Shemariah, of the sons of Hashem, Matinai, Matana, Matath, Matatha, Zebad, Eli, Felet, Jeremiah, Manasseh, and Shimei, of the sons of Bani, Madai, Amram, and Uel, Benaiah, Bedaiah, Chilath, Vaniah, Merimoth, Eliashab, Mataniah, Matei, Nai, and Jesu, and Beni, and Binui, Shimei, and Shalamiah, and Nathan, and Adaiah, Mak, Nad, Debai, Shashai, Sharai, Azaril, and Shalamiah, Shemariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph, of the sons of Nebo, Geo, Matithiah, Zabad, Zebina, Jadau, and Joel, Benaiah. All these had taken strange wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children.